welcome to another edition of Legit Reviews on Video. Corsair is well known for their innovative memory cooling designs and was one of the first in the market with specialized memory air cooling systems. Today we are going to test the Airflow Pro system to see what effect this has on memory temperatures and overclocking potential. Corsair offers two cooling options, the Airflow and the Airflow Pro. Both systems provide a cooling unit with a pair of 60 centimeter fans that clip onto your memory and receive power from a standard 3-pin fan plug. The Pro system adds an additional LED status panel that displays the temperature and memory activity for up to six sticks of memory with the DHX Pro port. We found the basic Airflow dual fan system for around $25 and the advanced Airflow Pro system for around $45 from several e-tailers around the web. Be aware that the fan unit comes in both a red and black and blue and black version in case you're trying to keep your case theme consistent. The Airflow Pro carries a two-year warranty from Corsair. Now on to testing. In order to test the performance of the Airflow Pro, we attach it to my Windows 7 test bench consisting of a Sandy Bridge i5-2500K CPU and an ASUS P8P67B3 motherboard running a pair of 2GB Corsair Dominator DHX 1600MHz memory modules. The test method used was a three-point test with and without the cooling unit. I utilized an inland IR temperature probe for all my measurements and took the measurements at several places across both sticks and then averaged them for consistency. The first measurement was taken of the sticks at room temperature after they had been sitting overnight. The second was after a 15 minute period of the system simply on idle with no running programs. The final measurement was taken after 30 minutes of both Prime 95 blended mode and maximum running to ensure full memory loading. You can see by this chart that the Airflow Pro decreased the temperatures by 8 degrees Celsius at idle and it decreased the temperatures by 12 degrees Celsius at full load. This shows how well Corsair designed this cooling system and the DHX heat spreaders on their modules. If you find your case has poor airflow, the Airflow Pro can certainly provide extra cooling power for your memory. One area that I had of concern was how much noise would be created by these fans. After testing, I can say I was impressed by how quiet the dual 60 centimeter fans were, adding almost no additional noise even at full speed. Let's have a listen. If you like to dress up your, with your rig with a bit of flash, the LED status module adds a really nice visual effect for your DHX Pro memory kits. The RGB LEDs provide quite the light show while providing a bit of function from being able to actually see the memory activity and the memory temperatures at a glance. However, based on how well these fans work on the kit, I'm not sure you will see the temperatures increase very much even under full load. In the end, this is a nice to have, not need to have accessory and provides the windowed case enthusiast with cool visual effects. I have to admit, I did not find the addition of air cooling provided any additional overclocking benefit in my open test rig. This memory is rated to run at up to 85 degrees Celsius, and even without the cooling fans, I topped out at 42.8 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, if you have a tight case with a lot of hot components and limited airflow, you might consider using the Corsair Airflow Pro to assist with your tight case needs. My legit bottom line, great airflow and almost no noise plus visual bling means this is a great accessory if you're looking to trick out your memory. Thank you for listening. This is Bill Henschel with another legit review on video.